Well, hello again. And we hear some of these conspiracy people talking about a fake alien invasion, but they never say what form they think that fake alien invasion may take. I think a couple of them have actually said that uh, there was going to be a fake alien invasion staged at the London Olympics a few years back. I think this probably would have looked a lot like this, you know. I mean, this is uh, convincing, to say the least. Um... <laughs> Uh, one of the people uh, spruiking this sort of nonsense claims to have an IQ of 187. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I think the uh, the decimal point needs to be shifted one place to the left. Uh, I think that will be far more uh, indicative of the chap's IQ. Now, uh, <laughs> can you seriously imagine anyone being able to pull off a fake alien invasion? See, this is another reason why these people won't... They'll never debate anybody that's going, to, that's going to put up a reasonable case against such an event. They'll say, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll leave a comment saying... I'll leave a comment on Ben's channel saying, you know, no one could pull off a convincing... No nation on Earth or, or collection of nations on Earth possess the technology to pull off a convincing fake alien invasion. Oh, yes, they have. Oh, yes, they have. Uh, that's all they'll say. They won't say what form they think it'll take. Uh, what is it, inflatable flying saucers at the, uh, the, the Saturday afternoon football match, maybe? Um, <clears throat> all over the world, there's a, <clears throat> a lot of inflatable flying saucers, isn't it? And uh, what happens? You know, they, they said that uh, there's going to be a fake alien invasion at the, the London Olympics. <clears throat> so what... <coughs> Excuse me, what exactly do they think would happen? The flying saucer turns up, hovers above the Olympics, and then what happens? It lands, people run away and scatter, it starts beaming down laser weapons, directed energy weapons. Uh, you know, what, what, how is the scenario going to play out? Because if that happened, a terrestrial flying saucer turns up pretending to be an alien flying saucer at a huge sports event and starts uh, firing lasers at people. Someone's going to turn up, probably from the army or the air force, and they're going to shoot it full of holes because it's not going <laughs> to, because it won't be alien technology. It will be defeatable. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> as soon as the alien casualties start piling up it will be revealed very quickly that they are very human. So if there's any conspiracy theorists out there that uh, spruik this, this uh, fake alien invasion drivel, would like to explain exactly how they think uh, it would play out and exactly how they think um, uh, <clears throat> it, it, that people could be fooled, what sort of technology they would be using, I suppose they're going to say, well, it's going to be from the secret space program. No such thing, of course. No manned secret space program. We don't have a Starfleet. No one's flying around in a captured alien spacecraft like in Stargate or uh, Blake 7. It's all science fiction. Now, I suspect this resembles the, uh, uh, the Roswell craft quite, uh, quite accurately. As we can see, it's uh, sort of inflatable. It's got a dome on top. See that? A little dome on the top there. Uh, lots of uh, lots of rather convincing. Uh, hang on, let's get my my rather, rather nice uh, Parker mechanical pencil. It's got these rather nice, extremely convincing portholes all around here. Look, I don't know whether this is supposed to be beaming down something here. There's a person in this for scale. Uh, looks like a. Uh, it looks like the welcoming committee for the aliens is actually a uh, a pearly king from East London has gone along to say, well, uh, welcome to the planet, guys. This is of course uh, before he gets vaporised because remember we have to we have to remember this is a fake alien invasion. Okay. Um, probably doesn't help that it's got uh, made in made in China uh, written on it in Chinese. Uh, but I suppose, you know, the average conspiracy theorist will say, oh, it's hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics! 
you can see the alien writing on it. You know, what it actually says is made in China, you know, made in Taiwan. Uh, made in Hong Kong. So, <laughs> so if any of these uh, conspiracy people are out there and they, they would, uh, <clears throat> they're, they're the people, especially if they're the people that would say, um, you know, fake alien invasion is coming, there's a possibility of a fake invasion, prepare for a fake alien invasion. Uh, perhaps you'd leave a comment below and tell me exactly, and the rest of the viewers, of course, all, uh, you know, 15 of them, that uh, <laughs> that uh, <clears throat> exactly how you think this master plan would play out how many ships would be involved where would they go what form would the attack take what would happen when the bodies started piling up and were very rapidly identified as being human what would happen then doesn't look like the uh, the London Olympics was terribly popular, does it? I mean, look at all these all these seats are all these seats are empty. Perhaps it was. Uh, do they have cricket at the Olympics? Maybe it was uh, cricket. Uh, I can't imagine that being terribly popular. Um, someone said to me, because I've lived in Australia for a very long time. Someone said to me, uh, "How can you be?" And I've always said I hate cricket. And they said, "Well, how can you be an Englishman and hate cricket?" And I thought, well. Wasn't cricket invented in China? I don't know. But um, I said, well, there doesn't seem to me to be an awful lot to it. You know, you, someone knocks three small broom handles in the ground. And someone stands in front of the broom handles with a plank. Someone then throws a ball at him. And uh, if he manages to hit the ball with the plank, uh, they go and get the ball and uh, throw it at him again. I thought, well, that's uh, that's pretty tedious stuff, really, isn't it? it doesn't sort of uh, doesn't uh, doesn't vary very much from that uh, that main theme. Anyway, uh, I don't know whether this is actually a cricket match. It looks like someone might be uh, lighting a fire there under the uh, under the flying saucer, starting to deflate a little bit here. That could also be a uh, bit of a giveaway. Can't imagine a real alien spacecraft actually deflating before your eyes. Uh, no one up in the dome as well. You know, this would be uh, difficult to fake as well, wouldn't it? You'd need uh, some sort of platform inside the uh, the balloon uh, for for your uh, your aliens to stand on. And you'd have to go and get some super skinny people as well because people expect aliens to be skinny and small. It's a stereotypical alien. And uh, probably put them in wetsuits, you know, like they did with the Ariel School uh, <coughs> gag. So there we are, the uh, convincing fake alien invasion there. I mean, for me, I'd, uh, I'd run for my life if I saw this. Especially, uh, <coughs> especially if it was uh, sort of bobbing around like a balloon. But um, if you're out there, Ben, or uh, Mr Shrimpton, <laughs> or anyone else out there that uh, thinks that anybody on earth could pull off a uh, convincing fake alien invasion well, I'm sure there's there's quite a few out there please uh, leave some comments below and uh, let us all know exactly what you have in mind how would that scenario play out how many ships would be involved what would happen when they got destroyed because obviously they would <laughs> if someone thought it was a real alien spacecraft and it was shooting at people uh, it's going to get destroyed pretty quickly and they're going to find out the crew are human very quickly what happens then how how, how on well how on earth yeah no pun intended how on earth do you think anybody could pull off a convincing alien invasion Mm. Actually, just before I go, I'd like there's uh, there's there's uh, I'll, I'll see if I can find something um, uh, to show you and uh, make another comment. So uh, just just hang on a tick. Right, this is uh, this is what I wanted to show you. Here, uh, Ben Emlyn Jones and other people, and they'll talk about Bob Lazar and these other 
these other people that supposedly worked on flying saucers and they say they've got these these sort of uh, hemispheres underneath and th these are something to do with the propulsion the anti-gravity propulsion and I thought well that sounds to me very very much like the flying saucers uh, very much like this one in fact that uh, are from the uh, the TV series uh, the invaders <laughs> <laughs> it all began with a deserted diners <laughs> a lonely road <laughs> so uh yes all this uh, all this ufo nonsense uh, comes from uh, comes from science fiction impossible for a fake alien invasion to be pulled off by anybody a lot of the descriptions of the alien spacecraft, interesting that they all take a saucer form, or many take a saucer form, after Kenneth Arnold's uh, description of uh, these uh, crescent-shaped craft skimming across the sky like saucers skimming across a pond. And the press picked up on the term flying saucers. because It just had a ring to it. You know? well, it does, doesn't it? You've got to admit it. It's got flying saucers. It's got a definite ring to it. Um, and uh, and it stuck, and of course people have been seeing flying saucers ever since, and um, describing them very much as they appear in science fiction. Strangely enough, who would have picked that? Eh? All right, well that's just another uh, another quick video, and uh, uh, if you've made it this far, as always, if you've made it this far into the video, many thanks for uh, many thanks for watching. Only a short one, this I think ten minutes or so, and uh, maybe I'll catch you again.